syrup, and um, my husband and I, Steve, have been visiting Zion for about the past two years. And before that, we had been at one church for about 30 years. And sometimes, um, you know, church had changed, you change, but we were just feeling a little disconnected from the worship service. So it was kind of interesting that uh, uh, Pastor Mark asked us uh, to just speak on this a little bit. Um, we did visit around a lot. We did visit a lot of local churches. Um, and then when we visited Zion, uh, we just felt like the worship service, um, I'm going to use the word complete. It just felt very complete to me. Um, it just felt like everything was tied together for a certain purpose. And uh, when I would leave that day, I would know that uh, I had received a message. And uh, I just felt spiritually connected. Um, but actually, my first response when uh, a pastor said to me, uh, what connects you to God's grace through worship? My, the first thing I thought of was joy. Um, I feel a great amount of joy when I listen to the, when I sit in the worship service. Uh, I really look forward to the hymn of praise. I find it to be joyful, lively, confirming. Um, it says, all of creation sings for joy and ends with God has come to dwell with us. And I thought, wow, that is such a powerful way to start off a worship service. And it really uh, reminds me of God's grace right, right off the bat. And I think because there is that joy uh, during the service, very often very difficult topics are, are talked about here. Uh, but because, even though they're difficult and times are tough, I feel like that joy tells us that we can always face it with hope. So don't always dealt with it, hopefully. So what makes me feel connected to God's grace here at Zion? I, I do think it's that uh, message of, of joy and hope, which really helps me uh, throughout the week to feel positive and, and also, though, to feel that I'm part of a spiritual community that does give me. <laughs> like I said, that we're very, very fortunate that we can worship wherever we want at different churches around the community and stuff like that. Hello, my name is Steve Sarhoff. My wife and I, Bart, started participating in Bible studies and worship services about 30 years ago. A few years ago, we decided to make a move. It was time for a change. Time for a different Sunday service and a different church. Over the years, we've gone to the ecumenical service, ecumenical amendment services, which exposed us to different churches and pastors in the community. Not to mention they exposed us to a heck of a lot of soup. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday worship and the Sabbath have become very important, a very important day of the week for me. If I miss the church service or I can't connect with the sermon, my week's a little off. The worship service is my anchor for the week. I often thank Pastor Mark for starting my week off on the right note. So I was exposed to Zion as pastor through the ecumenical services, but when we entered the church, the music took over. Before the first word is spoken and the last word is heard, the music starts the worship service. Rod's musical talents at the piano or the organ, singing with the, with the pastor or filling the service, the worship service along with the best words. Truly, I say to you, the music at Zion is unsurpassed, unsurpassed in the community. It's funny how I still am learning that the Lord puts challenges in front of us that may lead to a better life. Thank you. Thank you. 